Digital transformation has accelerated the need for hybrid observability because traditional monitoring tools can only tell you what happened and when. Hybrid observability from Optrum allows DevOps, cloud and site reliability engineers to determine why something happened by looking inside the application from the output produced in the form of metrics, traces and logs. This solution demonstration video walks you through how OpsRamp applies observability to determine the root cause of a customer facing problem to rapidly reduce mean time to repair. That um, you're an end customer of astronomy shop and you're going shopping for a new telescope. So I'm on the website, so I'm just going to go shopping and I'm just going to explore, see what products they have and I'm interested in the National Park Foundation Explorer Escape. So let's just test that. Add it to the cart. Looks good. And I'm going to place my order. Everything looks fine. Moving over to the Optramp dashboard for the astronomy shop, uh, which I've set up as a mission control center. So both the hosting service and the product catalog um, are up. I have zero critical alerts and zero warning alerts and all of the key performance indicators such as transaction rate, number of messages per second from Kafka and CPU plus surface latency, everything seems to be looking fine. The um, astronomy shop website again, so I'm just going to go shopping and I'm just going to select this product, that seems to be fine. And now I'm just going to check the product that I'm interested in, which is the National Park Foundation Explorer Scope. And ah, what's happened here? There's no product details displaying and the value is zero. Now, this is not good. Clearly, this is going to uh, impact our customer experience if we're not able to show the actual product. And that's going to have a adverse effect on revenue. So this is the problem that we want OpsRamp and observability to help solve. So let's take a look at the OpsRamp observability solution to see how we can understand why this problem has happened. The dashboard now, and I can see that um, the product catalog service is saying that the availability is down. So I need to quickly investigate this. I can see that there's one critical alert, which I'll take a look at in a second. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to take a look at the actual managed resource. So I click on the link there and I can see that this is a application server running on AWS EC2. It's a Linux system. Um, and the first thing I want to do now is just have a look at some of the different attributes. So I can see that uh, we have, um, it's the Ast astronomy shop hosting service, which is impacted and uh, we have an OpsRamp agent running on the device. But the first thing I want to actually do is to see what um, processes and services are running on the system. So when I click on actions here, I can execute a command. Now I don't have privileged access to remotely log into the machine. So OpsRamp provides a, a, uh, a nice interface here where you can just run a uh, command remotely. So I just want to look at the services. I'm just going to execute the command and just in a few seconds there we go we can see all the different services that are running so it'll give me a, an idea of some of the workloads that are running on here and some of the different applications that have been installed okay so one of the things that i'd like to do now to as i begin my troubleshooting is determine what other uh, resources are impacted by this problem so if i click on this uh, here and I can click on you see view topology. So let's take a look at the topology map that OpsRamp automatically creates when I install OpsRamp onto uh, these resources. So I can see this is our production server uh, with um, running all of the Docker containers um, for the application and I can see all the different uh, resources running on AWS such as VPC um, storage network interfaces and so on so it's it's important to understand okay what other resources are impacted um, if this service is down
I just want to take a closer look at the, um, the alert that I see in front of me. So I'm just going to click on the, the alert here. And this brings up the alert console. So let's take a closer look at this. So I just select the alerts in front of me and it gives me a description um, of what's actually going on. It's telling me there's a problem with availability for, which I believe is a uh, product catalog code. So that gives us you know, some information already about um, how to proceed for, uh, from this point on. So there's some additional uh, information in the description. It's telling me that um, the National Park Foundation Explorer has what's called an assertion error. Now what um, has been set up here is an Optramp synthetic monitor. So this is probably one of the first things you want to actually set up when you're implementing your your monitoring strategy is end user experience monitors. So in this example, I'm monitoring my website uh, for all of the products in my catalog to make sure that they're available to end users. <clears throat> because if they're not available, that's clearly going to impact obviously the experience that they uh, are, are receiving and also could potentially impact revenue. So it's really important that we set up uh, monitors um, for end user experience. So this is telling me that uh, there's an issue with this product here. Now, the first thing that's been set up here is called a first response action. So when this alert has been generated, OpsRamp is going to run a script uh, via a process automation workflow, which I will cover um, shortly um, to check the health of the Docker environment that I know is running on this um, application server. So that gives me additional uh, information as I triage this issue. And some of the things you can do here is you can um, heal the alert to this point if you believe the, the issue has gone away. Uh, you can run a process automation workflow. Um, you can acknowledge the alert if that's part of your, your workflow. Um, or you can suppress this event which means um, I don't want to receive this particular type of event for a certain period of time. Part of the troubleshooting process um, that I'd like to go through is to have a look at the transaction traces. So under the infrastructure menu item, I'll select traces. And for convenience, I've already created a filter view because I want to look for specific um, traces to do with product lists. So in my use list, I'm just going to select product list. And it's what's returning back is uh, the recommendation service. And I'm just going to scroll down to where I find an error that will hopefully give me some more information about what the problem is. So I'm just going to select this trace. And I can see here that on the products list, there's the product catalog code that was generating the alert um, that we just went through. So I'm going to now look at uh, the actual spans that have been generated. So if I click on the view details here, and here you can see all the different spans for this trace. And I'm selecting this uh, span here, get product, and I'm looking at the attributes uh, and it tells me in the error message, there's an internal error, product catalog service fail, feature flag enabled. So I'm gonna use that information to take a look at the logs to see if I can get to the, uh, the root cause of this issue. So I've already got had some information from the alerts generated by a synthetic monitor around for the product code. I now know that potentially there's an issue with a feature flag being enabled, but let's confirm that in the logs. So I select infrastructure followed by logs. And again, um, I've got a lot of logs here to go through, but to simplify things, I've created a saved view. And what I want to look for is logs that contain any product errors. So here um, it's listing out all the different logs that have product error uh, included. 
and I can see just down here there's an internal fail to prepare order failed to get product and then there's there's the product code that was uh, causing the issue and I can see just above it um, at literally four seconds later we have um, another log telling me that the feature flag um, has been enabled so now I've got lots of information which I believe is telling me what the problem is so it looks like for the website for this particular product code a feature flag has been enabled so I can now um, go back to my colleagues in development to give them this information and for them to disable the feature flag and that should solve the problem I've informed the developer that the uh, feature flag um, is enabled um, for the product catalog item and as you can see here on the feature flag uh, website that the actual um, product catalog is enabled so I'm just going to disable that and that should now solve the problem so let's go and take a look at the dashboard uh, to make sure that the service is back up and running um, mission control center dashboard and I can see that the product product catalog um, service is back up and running I have zero critical alerts and the system looks um, healthy so I'm just going to confirm that I'm just going to go back on to the website and start the shopping experience again so I'm just going to go shopping and I'm going to select the uh, product that previously had an issue and I can see all of the product details and the pricing is accurate so the root cause was the um, feature flag uh, being enabled but it was only because of um, the logs and traces that explained to me why the problem that was reported was happening um, could we quickly you know troubleshoot this issue uh, that previously uh, we would not have been able to do with um, standard monitors be sure to check out more information on opsramp.com